hey guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how to implement row selection in material table if you have gone through documentation of material table you will find implementing multiple selection is super easy but if you are trying to implement single select you can't find anywhere not even in documentation so in this video we will see how to implement multiple row selection along with single select so now let me select here any one of the row and as you can see here i got name of the particular employee so if i select here this row i will get this employee name here okay so now let's jump to vs code and implement this single select first and after that we will jump to multiple select So here as you can see already I have created a sample project called react material table and here we are in app.js in render as you can see I am rendering two heading so first is the heading and second is the just a paragraph subtitle and third I am rendering here material table and I am passing three different parameter to this material table first is the title second is the data and this data is getting loaded from the API and this is the API detail here and for this as well I am maintaining a state here and the third parameter is columns and column definition I have provided here in order to implement row selection in material table I have to pass extra attribute to this material table and that is called options and this option will take one parameter called selection and here I need to pass a boolean value and I will pass here this boolean value as a true because by default value is false. So now here as you can see I got this and by clicking on this I can select and this is a multiple select. So now let's say here I want to get the data. I want to get this data how many I have selected. So for that here I need to fire another one event and that is called on selection change so on selection change okay and this on selection change will take a function and here I will define that function as a on selection change only so on selection change and this function doesn't take change so I will create here okay and right now it will get me the all selected row so I will name it as a selected rows and I will do console log to this selected rows now let's come back let me do right click here and let's go to console let me clear and here I click and as you can see I have a array of one record and this is the same record what I have selected here so now I selected this one and here as you can see I have two record and this is the first and this is the second record which one I have selected okay so now we are able to select and we are able to get this data so let's say if you want to use this data somewhere else you can do that So now the thing is here let's say I don't want user to select all at a time I don't want to give this functionality at all so for that here I can pass another one parameter so select all checkbox and default value is true so here I need to pass this value as a false so now as you can see I am not getting option here anymore to select all row so now here I am selecting one or two I am getting one band as well so if you wish to disable this band you can do that and for that as well you have to pass another one parameter here and that is called show text selected row selected and here pass this value as a false and let's come back and let me select and here as you can see I am not getting any band at the top. So this is how we can implement multiple row selection in material table and we can customize. So now it's time to talk about the single select so for that 
let's come back again and here I will comment this code so here I will add a comment as well so for multi selection or you can call it as a multi select so now here I have to allow user to select a single row as I mentioned before this functionality doesn't exist so we have to create one so here there is a one function called on row click so whenever we will click a row one function will get trigger so here on row click and this will take a function so on row click and again this function doesn't exist so let me write here and here I will get two parameter first as a event and second is the selected row or let's say clicked row so click row okay now let me do console log to this clicked row okay so click row now save it let me refresh here I click and as you can see I got data as well so let me remove and here as you can see I got this data if I click on this I got this data again and here again okay so it means I am getting here the current click data so now what I will do is I will create a state and I will store this data there so here I will write selected row set selected row and I will create a state initially it's empty and here I will update this whenever row get clicked okay so now the thing is if you want to render this here I will do this conditional so selected row if have value then only render h4 and here selected or let's call it as employee name and I will get it in selected row and here as you can see it have a property called name okay so selected row dot name okay so now let me refresh here I clicked and as you can see selected employee name and I got the name of the employee if I select here here I got it but it's literally hard to identify which row I have selected because there is no symbol of selection here so right now we have to do something so we, we can change the color of particular row which one we have selected so for that here let's come back here we will use row style so here in option let's pass a attribute called row style okay and now here I will get the value so row and right now let me do console log to this row okay so now if you can see I am getting this data one by one so now here instead of returning this I have to return a, a style so for that here what I will do is I will check this row dot and ID equal equal to selected row dot ID if this value is true then return here background so background and let's say color as a e7 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 otherwise return empty object okay so right now let me wrap here okay so here it should be question mark and now as you can see row id okay so it will refer to the present row and selected row id if it's matching then it will change the background color for that particular row otherwise it will return nothing here so now let's come back let me refresh so initially as you can see select state value is null so that's why it's not matching if i click here and here as you can see i got this the color got changed if i select here as you can see color again got changed okay 
so now if i go to somewhere else and here i click it got selected if i come back and go again it will still be selected and here i am displaying the name as well okay guys so for this what we have done the first thing what we have done is so on row click will get me all the row data and i am updating my state so selected row and here accordingly i am rendering a style based on the condition and for that i am using row style and we have implemented single select by the help of row selection and row style in material table okay guys that's it for this video you can find download link of this code in description of this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section and if you have any suggestion that will be appreciated okay guys that's it for this video thanks for watching